Okay, so let's take a look at a few uses for Waves Metafilter. The first use is aimed squarely at DJs and live guys. Stick Waves Metafilter on your main bus and control the mix with your low and high pass filters. Watch this. So what did I do there? I selected high pass, I controlled the sound with the frequency knob, and then set a sequence down below that I used the sequencer fader to create a stutter effect near the buildup. The functions I used other than the sequence are highlighted in red. Okay, back into the studio we go, so I can show you how you can change up a drum sequence using the sequencer and the followers. Have a listen to the drum bus without the plugin active so you know what we're working with. Now let's bring in Metafilter. I'm intentionally killing the hi-hats with the sequencer. Let's bring a couple of them back in by just adjusting two faders. One effect used a lot in electronic music is ducking. There's a couple of different ways you can do this in Metafilter. What we've got here is the drum bus and a pad. The first and easiest way to get this effect in Metafilter is to use one of the settings we give you. Use the faders in the sequencer to adjust your ducking to either stronger or softer. Or you can change it up and create different patterns of ducking. If you look where my mouse is, you'll see the sequencer fader is all the way to the right, and it's on the offbeat. If I take that slider and take it all the way to the left, it's going to be right on the beat. Another way of doing this is by using the high pass filter and the sequencer. Listen to this. Metafilter is really powerful for vocals as well. At the end of this line that she sings, I've got a great stutter effect. Have a listen, and then I'll show you how I did it. There's positivity, it flows naturally. 
Okay, so how did I do that? Well, I've got it in DB mode. The mix knob is all the way to the right to output. I've created a very cool sequence down below, and the sequencer fader in the frequency section is pushed all the way up, so it's being controlled by my sequence. Another great use for Metafilter is taking a simple lead and turning it into either a stutter or a sequence. What we've got here is two leads mixed to make one to help fatten it up. But the whole reason for these is to help speed the track along. Right now, not so much. I've got it in low pass mode. I've created a sequence below. The LFO fader and the sequencer slider on the frequency are pretty much all the way up. And I've also used the sequencer slider on the delay so that everything you hear has a beat to it in the same rhythm. Those are just a few ways that you can use Waves Metafilter in your sessions and live performances. Have fun.